In Act 3, Section 1 of A Doll's House, Christine meets with Krogstad and reveals she still harbors love for him, wishing for them to join forces. It turns out, many years ago, the two were a couple. Christine reveals to Krogstad her true motivation in visiting Nora, and it's significant that it is not, huh? as she originally told Nora, to find pleasure in work, but because there is not the least pleasure in working for oneself. Krogstad actually offers to recall his letter to Torvald and not expose Nora's loan and forgery now that Christine wants to marry him. But Christine huh? instead tells him to leave the letter in the box. Krogstad waits for Christine outside while she says goodnight to Torvald and Nora. Torvald, who is a little drunk, is bored with Christine, and he demonstrates how two-faced he is when he exclaims, what, already? When Christine rises to leave, but then won't walk her home because she hasn't any great distance to go, finally spouting off, at last we got rid of her after she's gone. As they reunite, Christine and a redeemed Krogstad form a relationship that sharply contrasts Nora and Torvald's relationship. Christine and Krogstad have both learned to be honest by paying for the consequences of their dishonesty. Nora and Torvald still have these difficult lessons looming ahead, particularly ones pertaining to individual self-awareness. Spoiler alert, Christine will play a part in pushing Nora to relinquish her role as a wife and mother, although it is not Christine's intention that Nora should do so. Christine's wisdom goes beyond what Nora will learn by the end of the play. Christine and Krogstad find the necessity of honesty and self-awareness in a redemptive marriage rooted in depth and truth. Their honest interactions serve to shine a spotlight on the Helmer's superficial, dishonest relationship. The exchange between Nora, Torvald, and Christine supports the idea that Christine and Krogstad are wiser and more honest than Nora and Torvald. A little drunk on champagne, Torvald reveals his shallowness, indicating how erroneously he sees his true nature. He forces Nora through the door, commenting that she ought to come inside from the cold, and then moments later takes her shawl off as if she were really a doll for Christine to admire. Torvald comes into the scene wearing a mask, and although he takes it off, his character metaphorically keeps it on, in that he's only concerned with the appearance of things. For example, he launches into a diatribe on how the act of embroidering makes a woman look prettier than knitting does. And his further criticism of Christine as a frightful bore suggests how distasteful he finds the very qualities that Nora lacks, honesty and self-awareness.